What's going on YouTube? Jason Whitaker, the DIY Dad, back for another video. And today, we're gonna to be tackling this guy. Uh, today is my middle son's birthday. Uh, he is currently at school. Uh, so we got him a bike on Amazon, like most of us parents these days. We're buying a lot on Amazon. And what do we get when we order a bike on Amazon? Well, it came in a box. So uh, in order to get this ready for him, we got to unbox it, put it together so he can see it when he gets back from school. So follow along. All right, let's open up this box and see what we have. Set that down. Looks like most of it is uh, put together for us already, which is good. Got the seat. We got some training wheels. Uh, so for those that uh, don't personally know me, Micah uh, has. Uh, graduated from training wheels this past summer by using his balance bike. So he is now on a two-wheel bike. So uh, we'll put these off to the side. And we got a box uh, probably full of parts. Pedals and one of the main reasons why I got this particular bike is uh, we got him some pegs too. How cool are those? Alright, so let's go ahead and take off some of this packaging. seat. Uh, this is the mongoose switch. It says switch right there on the seat. The mongoose symbol. Pretty neat. We got the two pedals. Uh, the two pedals are marked uh, left and right. So that makes that convenient. Let's pop off these zip ties. off all these zip ties and putting them in the box for easy disposal after we're done. We got these little plastic caps on here. We'll leave those on there for now.
Interesting. The uh, front reflector is broken. For this job today, we're going to be using uh, these various tools. Uh, so let's first start with the three-quarter inch or medium-sized socket wrench. I'm using a 14, 13, 10, and 9 millimeter sockets. I have uh, locking channel locks here. I have an adjustable wrench. Uh, you saw me using this earlier. This is uh, so I can snip all the uh, zip ties off uh, the bicycle. And I got uh, an Allen key um, set right here. If you don't have one of these in your toolbox, highly suggest it. It comes with all these various Allen keys inside of it, so you're not always searching for your Allen keys. So here's our tools. Let's get started. All right, step number one and setting up this bike is uh, getting the handlebar set up. So let's... Uh, Let's work on that for a minute, show you the process. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that the cables aren't all wound up. I set this back up. Turn these forks to help stand it back up. And we're going to use our Allen key, our Allen keys, to go ahead and loosen up the handlebars. Take this little plastic cap off. Just wiggle that guy back and forth. Should slide right on. Oh, yeah, at least this. So we need to loosen this bolt right here on top. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that way we can slide this guy right in there just like that. Because you can't adjust the height. So what I want to also do is make sure that my forks are straight. Looks pretty good to me. And let's go ahead and tighten up. be super tight right now uh, when we get the tires put on it may look a little different so I may want to adjust a little bit but also my handlebars aren't perfectly tight so I want to adjust those um, to suit him uh, when he gets back from school so we're going to leave those a little bit loose for now and we'll go on to the next step all right so step number two uh, we're going to go ahead and adjust these brakes um, you know, he's, like I said earlier, he's five years old, so I'm going to put the brakes uh, a little bit uh, further out so where he doesn't have to 
bend his wrist all the way over uh, to stop. Now, this particular bike, uh, you can stop using the uh, feet here or the handbrakes because I want him to learn how to use the handbrakes. But in case he gets himself in a situation where you know he kind of needs to stop on a dime and doesn't remember how to use this or use this well, he can also have uh, the backup by using his feet. So let's go ahead and adjust these brakes. There's a simple screw uh, right next to the uh, handle grips right here. And all you gotta do is loosen it and then tighten it back. We'll get those nice and snug. So if he does drop the bike or he falls off the bike, um, that they don't move. Okay, nice and snug. All right. So next step, so step number three for us is gonna be to put on the seat. There's a uh, small Allen key screw right here on the side. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up just a tad. Seat slides on. Get that little snug. Let's make sure it's centered on the seat. And we'll go ahead and drop this down a little bit there. And of course, we can always adjust this when my son gets back from school um, to make sure it's perfect for him when he starts to ride. Got that nice and tight. Let's move on to the next step. Moving on to our next step, we're gonna put on the pedals. Uh, you remember when I said earlier that the pedals were marked left and right? So let's go ahead and put our pedals on. So I'm just gonna hand turn the pedals. And I'm going to use my adjustable wrench to make sure it's nice and tight. Same thing on the other side. So one thing to know on a bicycle is when you're putting on the pedals on the left side uh, that it is left to tighten, right to loosen. So it's exactly the opposite. So I got that threaded on hand tight. Use my adjustable wrench and make sure it's secure. Pedals on, let's move on to the next step. All right, one of the reasons I picked this bike on Amazon is because his older brother also has a mongoose bike with pegs. And uh, if you know anything about brothers, uh, they like to have similar things. So um, this bike is originally meant to have uh, training wheels on the back and pegs up front. But since he has graduated um, to not using training wheels, I'm going to go ahead and remove these bolts for the training wheel, or wheels, and we're going to add the pegs. 
I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm also going to double check and make sure that these rear bolts are nice and tight for the back wheel. I'm also going to check the chain, make sure there's tension on it. Looks like the chain's good to go. So let's double check these bolts. That one's nice and tight. Nice and tight. And for the pegs. So these pegs are really easy. They just screw right on. Pretty cool. Chrome pegs. So I'm gonna use just a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a little hole in there. I'm just gonna use that as leverage to turn and make sure the pegs are nice and tight. And we'll repeat on the other side. Pegs are on, let's move on to the next step. For this next step, I've uh, flipped the bike upside down so it's resting on its handles, handlebars and the seat. Uh, the reason I did that was to give myself some stability while I put on the front tire. Uh, the reason That's the reason why I put the handlebars and the seat on first uh, before moving on to the uh, front tire. So the front tire um, already comes a little deflated. There's not a whole lot of air in there. So what that does is makes it easier to go onto the front brakes. So just squeeze the tire a little bit. Goes right on there. And it fits right into the notches on the fork. So this is the fork right here. So this bike also comes with these washers. Um, it has a protrusion on top. Like that. And where these go are right here on the bolts and they should go right into the groove of the forks. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and put the, the nuts on here and we'll go ahead and hand tighten these and then give it a turn with a wrench. All right, the uh, front wheel's on there, nice and secure. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so we tightened the uh, seat. We got that all secure. Uh, we recentered the handlebars 
and then also tighten the handlebars up. So this should be a good position. Also double check the brakes front and back, make sure they're working. Also double check the uh, pedal brake, make sure that was working. So the bike is all put together. So it is ready for Micah to come home and hopefully he's going to enjoy it. I don't know about you, but some of my best memories growing up um, was you know, when my parents bought me a brand new bike. So I wanted to share that experience with my son. Um, another thing to add uh, when you're thinking about a purchase like this is uh, a helmet, helmet for safety. I'm not sure if you guys wore helmets as kids. I personally didn't, I probably should have, but and I wanted to make sure that my son wears a helmet uh, because I'm probably more protective over him uh, than myself. So uh, what we got him also on Amazon was a Rascals bike and skate helmet. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a mohawk on it and it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. So hopefully uh, if he thinks it's pretty awesome, he'll be more apt to wear his helmet while he's riding his bike. All right, so there you go. My son's birthday present, ready for him when he gets home. And I'm looking forward to it. And if you like these videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm Jason Whitaker, the DIY dad. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.